what I understood is that there are literally a few tasks, a few key tasks that I absolutely need to get done and they will contribute to me making huge progress and actually delivering great work. Whereas there are lots of tasks that I could be doing which are actually very disruptive and are not contributing to my success at work at all. So for example, checking my mailbox. Welcome everyone to Life is Lisa podcast. Our mission at Life is Lisa is to share people's stories and the challenges that they have overcome so those who are listening in can get the strength, the courage and the hope to be their better selves. And today I wanted to talk to you about the 80-20 principle and its impact on my life and on lives of so many people who hear about it. So the, so the, basical, the basic message from the 80-20 principle is that 80% of results that you're having in your life are coming from only 20% of the actions that you're taking. And actually, sometimes it can be even the difference, the, the discrepancy can even be bigger. It could be that 90% of the results that you are getting are coming from the 10% of the actions that you are taking. And this is crazy. So imagine there is this small subset of, a subset of actions that actually determines your success. But it's very small. So the mistake that a lot of us do on a day-to-day -day basis we keep doing a lot of the actions that actually do not really matter or do not truly contribute to our success. So I managed to apply this principle at work and it has been very working for me very well because what I understood is that there are literally a few tasks, a few key tasks that I absolutely need to get done and they will contribute to me making huge progress and actually delivering great work. Whereas there are lots of tasks that I could be doing, which are actually very disruptive and are not contributing to my success at work at all. So for example, checking my mailbox all the time and updating it and or creating beautiful for folders and clearing my mailbox. It might satisfy my perfectionist mindset, <laughs> mind or satisfy my the organizer in me, but it will not help actually deliver something of substantial weight. You may spend the whole day organizing your mailbox, replying to pings, and then people will ask you, what did you actually get done today? And you will have nothing to show for that. Whereas if you ignore everything, if you ignore all the pings, all the emails, and you just focus on one very important task, which actually would move the needle, and you focus on it, solely on it, and you make a lot of progress on it, you will get so much recognition and so much success because you actually manage to deliver something of value. So it is very important to realize that actually a small subset of actions that we are taking is determining the majority of the results that we are getting. So what is that small subset of actions that you're taking on a daily basis that is actually very important for you and which is actually delivering the majority of results or success in your life that you're having? And if you can determine them, you can start prioritizing doing them over everything else and actually prioritizing doing it first thing in the morning. And then you will see how your life, you will start getting more and more successes in your life and how you will start creating a life that you truly want to be living. But I think it's, it's something that gets so often not, not, not necessarily not understood, but overlooked just because it seems like there are so many activities and everything is quite important and uh, it's hard to prioritize. But that's why just take, taking that step back and raising that awareness of what is actually truly important. What is that one or two things that if you do today, you would be so proud that you've done. And then focusing on those ones because they will get you to the 80% of the results. This concept has been introduced to me by Tim Ferriss in his book for our work week, which I read. Uh, I actually read that book twice. I read it a few years ago when I just started working. It has been so helpful because I realized the power of deep focus, because basically you absolutely have to have two, three, four hours of your day of undisrupted, undisrupted work where you actually can focus on that one task. 
and you can do so much when you're in the deep work focus mode you will literally in an hour do the work that would have taken you a week to do just because your brain is not interrupted and can fully focus on the task and fully absorb it and get it done so it is it is one of the biggest productivity hacks but at the same time if you look at the successful people a lot of the time they are saying that they not only have the to-do list but they also have the not to-do list and they actively review their both of those lists and they're thinking which of the items on my to-do list i should remove actually and, and do less their goal is to do less but of what matters more so to do more of what matters and to do less of what doesn't matter so what are you currently doing that is actually not helping you not contributing to creating life that you truly want to be doing not helping you to be productive at work not contributing to your other values because maybe spending time with your friends is a value of yours that you actually it's not a waste of time but it's something that you also want to nurture so then spending time with friends is not considered a waste of time and still considered a good spending of time because it's aligned with the life that you're creating but what are those things like scrolling on social media endlessly for hours is it really contributing to having the life that you truly want to be built in maybe if you're a social media creator and that's part of your job and that's why you're doing that but if it's not and you just consume content what is exactly the intention behind it is it actually is it falling in that category of the 20 percent of tasks that you're doing that's actually helping you and getting you to those 80 percent of results or is it the 80 percent of the things that you're doing that's actually not bringing you anything or a small portion of the success in your life think about that and i hope this video was very helpful for you the first moment i heard about the 80 20 principle it has transformed my life and it has changed the way i approached work i managed to be so much more productive in so uh, and so more, so much more efficient because I managed to do it in way smaller time chunks. And uh, I hope it does that too for you. And you feel way less stressed and at the same time can accomplish way more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please be sure to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, to share it with someone who has not heard yet about the 80-20 principle. And I see you in the next episode.